Rangers first baseman Ronald Guzman lasted just three innings during Saturday's game against the Angels. The infielder smacked a double off of the right field wall at the top of the third, but appeared to injure his leg while running the bases and was quickly removed from the game. Further evaluation revealed a case of right hamstring tightness, though the extent of the injury and the length of Guzman's absence from the lineup has not been determined. Prior to Saturday's appearance, the 24-year-old first baseman was 5-for-27 with two home runs and four RBI in his first eight games of the season. An official replacement, if any is needed, has yet to be announced by the team. Evan Grant of the Dallas Morning News speculates that the Rangers could carve out a path for outfield prospect Willie Calhoun by shifting Joey Gallo from left field to first base and placing Edinson Vokwes on the 60-day injured list, pending an MRI for his elbow sprain, but they've yet to give any indication that they're willing to do so. Following Guzman's injury, as Drupal Cabrera stepped in to pinch run at second base, then took over the hot corner while Logan Forsythe switched from third to first in the bottom of the inning. The Rangers currently trail the Angels 4-1 thanks to Mike Trout's grand slam off Drew Smiley in the fourth inning, his first since 2015. Entering Saturday's contest against the Royals, the Tigers ranked last in the majors with just two home runs over their last eight games. Exiting that game, well, they bumped up their total to just three, but that third homer was a doozy, a go-ahead grand slam from rookie left fielder Kristen Stewart. Stewart's moment arrived in the seventh inning. Still up 4-2, the Royals had already started to let the game get away from them. Nicholas Castellano singled in a run, Miguel Cabrera hit a liner out to left, and Kansas City's Wiley Peralta finished setting the table with a seven-pitch walk to high mare Candelario. Stewart saw four pitches from Peralta before finding a changeup he liked, which was promptly returned to the right field foul pole for his first ever Grand Slam. Per MLB Network's John Morosi, it's been almost 10 years since the Tigers have seen a rookie belt a go-ahead Grand Slam. The last to do it was outfielder Cleet Thomas, whose eighth inning home run put the Tigers up 9-5 over the Angels on June 7, 2009. It's been just nine years since a Tigers rookie hit any variety of Grand Slam, which was accomplished by right fielder Brennan Bush in the summer of 2010. Thanks to Stewart's Grand Slam, the Tigers extended their winning streak to four straight games with a 7-4 finale against the Royals. They go for the sweep on Sunday with right-hander Tyson Ross on the mound at 1.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time.